Is Boris about to sell out Northern Ireland? It looks like he is. Boris Johnson is not denying that he wants to leave Northern Ireland in the customs union. He spoke to that EU fanatic from Dublin, Varadka, on, I think it was Thursday afternoon, for hours. They had a little walk in the park. It was all very cordial, all very good. The reality is that Varadka wants to annex Northern Ireland, not to become part of the Republic of Ireland. It's far worse than that. That would be bad enough. But what Varadka wants to do is annex Northern Ireland as part of the European Union because Varadka doesn't care about Ireland. Varadka's not an Irish patriot. I, I speak to Irish patriots all the time in the south of Ireland and they are very, very similar to British patriots. They do not trust the government. They do not tr trust the main political parties. They do not trust Sinn Féin because they know that all of these groups have basically sold us out sold all the patriotic people of, of Ireland, of Northern Ireland and the UK out to the empire of the European Union. And the, the Republic of Ireland is now little more than a vassal state of the, of the European Union. So Varadka, when, when Boris is, is negotiating with Varadka, he's negotiating the future of the people of Northern Ireland and trying to find a way to square the circle with the European Union. You can't do it, Boris. The only thing you can do is leave without a deal. And we must leave without a deal. It's absolutely vital. We cannot, we cannot be allowed to be pushed around by the European Union anymore. We need to leave and then we need to sort out the problems that come with leaving without a deal after we've left. And you see, one thing that Boris has got to understand is that the the people of Northern Ireland are the most patriotic, most loyal people in the United Kingdom. And I say that as a proud and patriotic Englishman. You will not get people more British than the people of Ballymoney, than the people of the Shankill Road, than the people of East Belfast and the people of North Down. The people that live in this country, the unionist and loyalist people, are British and they want to remain British. And do you think, do you think there's not going to be a reaction if you try and bully the DUP and try and bully the people of Ulster into remaining within the European Union, into going into what will be in fact a de facto um, United Ireland without a referendum, without a border poll, do you think the people of Northern Ireland are going to sit back and do nothing about that, Boris? If you do, you've got another thing coming. And the DUP need to be very careful as well. The DUP need to be careful not to betray their own people because they will be electri annihilated. They will be destroyed at the next election if they sell out their base. The true British unionist loyalist people of Northern Ireland. And I say to my friends in England, to my fellow Englishmen, stand with us. I say to my friends in Scotland, stand with us. Do not let them get away with this. Do not let them sell us out if this deal does what I think it will do and sells out Northern Ireland and betrays the people of Northern Ireland. It's not going to be Brexit. It's going to be a betrayal. And what we need to do as patriots is we need to stand for what we voted for. When we voted to leave the European Empire, when we voted to leave the European Empire, we were escaping from an anti-democratic, increasingly dangerous and expansionist project that could tip Europe into another world war with Russia. That's what we voted to leave. A very, very dangerous, non-democratic organisation. And those people that run round dressed in EU flags, you're a disgrace. That's all I'm going to say. You're an absolute pathetic disgrace. So I say to the rest of the people of the United Kingdom, stand with the people of Ulster. Do not let Boris betray us. Get this video out there. Make this video go viral because I believe there's a betrayal being pushed upon Northern Ireland that is even worse than anything that has ever come before. And that includes the Anglo-Irish Agreement. That includes the Belfast Agreement. All of those were betrayals of the people of Ulster to terrorists. 
But now this is even worse. It's the betrayal of the people of Northern Ireland and the people of the Republic of Ireland who want to leave the European Union. It's a betrayal of them to leave them forever trapped in that wicked and evil empire of the European Union. Stand with Ulster. Do not let Boris get away with betraying the people of Northern Ireland.